Bounty Killer continues his benevolent deeds in Jamaica, this time reaching out to a great artist who has fallen on hard times. The artist is Junior Baz, who during the 1970s gave us these classic records. Baz, who suffers from a mental disorder, among other medical complications, is on our stage right now and is about to receive a special donation from Bounty Killer. Thank you. Love the Lord God, your Astrofari, with all your heart and soul. <laughs> Teach them! Always make sure the message I reach them! It's over to you, Bounty. Thanks, Winford. As you know, the Bounty Foundation Share If You Care campaign, it continues as this is a small presentation we are here to make today, as the last presentation was at the KPH and the Jubilee Hospital where we paint and pass over gifts. The foundation has been going good, mm -hmm. getting some support from society, but not as we would want it, yes. but it's, it's coming on. And today, this one is very special to me because this is for one of our fellow artists, one of our legendary pioneer veteran entertainer who has helped to develop the face of reggae, I would think. Yes. As this my music, it's me from I was a boy from like five, four year old cause. Oh yes. I remember listening to this song in the seventies and I was born in the seventies. I was born 1972 and this song came out 1976, they said. Yes. So obviously I listened to this song when I was five, six years old and it touches me from that time till this time. Mm -hmm. It even inspired me when I get to learn the meaning of the words. Yes. He who sat upon his vanity and has no love for humanity, that's like gospel to me today. Because I become a humanitarian, and a philanthropist, yes. all these great nice things. I think those words have a lot to do with it. <laughs> anyway, good, cut, yeah. long story short, this is Jamaica. A music country where so many thousands of great artists came from. I saw a video circulating with Junior Biles. Yes. Where you can see the struggle that he's going through. And it touches our heart to know that no one reaches out. Nobody, no one, not even one person yes. from the music industry or from the wider society. This is our home. Yes. This is not somebody from overseas who fall and stumble in Jamaica then and him have no family or no friend or no associate. We all know Junior. Mm -hmm. We all enjoy his music. And you don't have to have a million dollars to give away something. Yes. So I'm not saying we can stop his problems or his burden, but we can assist. We could do something. Most can do something. So this is why Bounty Foundation find it necessary to make a little talking. Yes. Today we're going to hand over a check for $150,000 mm -hmm. and a gift survey ticket from, for 100000 Today we have Christine, the daughter of Junior Biles. Yes, welcome great Christine. friend and family who traveled all the way from Africa, mm -hmm. Jessica. This woman was touched and inspired by Junior Music, just like me. Mm -hmm. I'm my brother, Big Stone. I am the one who get in touch with Claude Big Junior Stone, yes. for us. Welcome, sir. Welcome, welcome. This is thus the platform we are setting to let Jamaica know this is not look good, man. We look so gravelicious. We look so greedy. We look so hateful. Let's help ourselves. We always ball about government not helping, but we not help we neither. Anybody can meet up on misfortune. Mm -hmm. You don't know, or I don't know what tomorrow may bring Jamaica, please. Especially we as artists, we need to form some artist to artist union, and we cannot wait on the government. We have to pull our money together and get this on. Junior won't be the first, he won't be the last. Somebody will always fail, and we'll have to get up back, and it's not all of us get up back at the same time. Yes. Our catch back will balance when we get up. Mm -hmm. 
So misfortune is always going to be there. Just like driving a car, you have to pay insurance and you know, prepare for accident. But accident comes, so you have to be prepared in your mind. So Jamaica, these things will always happen. And it's a poor country, we know. We now have a great economy we provide for each and everybody. If you have a proper job. And we use music as we escape. And then when we fall by the wayside as musicians, no one, not even we musicians, looks back. It look like rubbing a barrel. It don't look good. Musicians out there, artists, producers, players of the game, this is what we want. This is how we treat our own. This is how distressful we are. We are this hungry. We are this greedy. We, we can stretch our hands. Come on, Jamaica. If you care, share. Because we always talk about, we love my country, we love my people. Re, re. And the Rastas out there, we are say, lead out of Babylon. We know I leave in a Babylon. We mm -hmm. need for sure on the generosity and the sincerity, just like my sister here who traveled all the way from Africa. Talk to her, Winford. Let yes. you tell you about our old connection with Junior. Okay, could you tell us? Answer that for us. The great legend, Junior Biles, has inspired the freedom fighters in South Africa. <laughs> Robert Sobukwe, Stephen Bantubiko, Solomon Mashango. I'm talking about the freedom fighters were assassinated by the colonialists, the pan-Africanists, the black consciousness, that I have inherited the spirit of Ubuntu, the spirit of humanity that has led me to come to this island of Jamaica as the hub of the conscious music of reggae. And I came across uh, my great uh, legends like Bobani Weyla, Junior Biles, and to find him in this situation, Claude Sinclair said, we must do something. We came together as artists to celebrate him on his birthday last year, and we raised the, the funds. That was the call to say, let us come together as artists as the people of the society and bring interventions that can better our lives for our own selves without the big intervention of the propaganda's government. But we as the people, we are the society that needs to bring, um, uh, uh, what you call, uh, rapidly the, the interventions that can make our lives much better. We are the source of humanity and we are the human capital of our music system. My brother, Bounty Killer, you have destroyed the boundaries. Thank you ever so much for coming through. I am saying, um, indeed, I am because you are. You are because I am. Keep on keeping on. Keep on digging deep that hive of prestigious knowledge, wisdom, and uh, so that we can be able to expand. Atamakosa. Claude, you're a friend of the family. You know a lot about this. He struggles with his story. From your perspective, sir, what, what can you tell us about his condition at the moment? He suffer from enlarged prostate, and of course, some mental issues. Mm -hmm. And you know, other little thing, maybe I, uh, depression here, hypertension and so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. But basically those are the major problems that Junior have. But I must say firstly, Paul Banky Giscom reached out to me about a week ago yes. after seeing one of my videos. And after he saw my videos looking for Junior Biles, he was so touched and moved because I'm moved by this great icon. This is the man that taught me everything in terms of how I grew up to be a man, and I'm 62 years old. I grew up on beat down Babylon. I grew up on a place called Africa. I grew up on curly locks, and of course, I grew up and fade away. I personally must do my part, my little part of my brother Bounty says, to make a difference. And so I must applaud Paul Banky Giscom for reaching out to me and telling me that he saw the video and the Bounty Killer Foundation mm -hmm. want to step up and oh. do something. Oh, great, so man. Thank you very much, Paul. So what I want to know, if anybody has been reaching out to Junior, like people from the industry or anything, because that's what we, we cite, like no one cares. Well, let me first say um, thank you so much 
for um, the opportunity to have this platform yeah. right now. You're welcome. Um, I just wish my dad was able to really voice how he feels, truly how he feels. But I'm going to speak as much as what well, my dad would want me to say. Speak on his there behalf. is a song that my dad sings that's always been my favorite. And I always say to my dad, you know, Dad, do you know my favorite song? And he says, what? I say, fade away. And so I always say the song, the words of the song just resonates with my soul because that's who I am. It says, those who believe in vanity have no love for humanity shall fade, fade away. away. The fade rich away. is getting richer every day. <laughs> and the little that the poor man got, it shall be taken away. Do you hear what I say? Hey. You hear yeah, what I say? Yeah. No, that so, touches all of us. So Everyone I say this, this <laughs> to the people in Jamaica. We love you. No matter what that video showed, the family loves you. You see, we represent love. Love will overcome all. True. We are forever grateful. The Honorable Babsy Grange stepped up last year for the concert where we raised a hundred thousand dollars. Great. We have taken majority of that money, bought whatever it is that he needed. You've seen videos of me taking him to um, certain medical centers. Yeah. I continue to work so closely with Claude, as you guys have seen the videos, the many videos that Claude mm -hmm. Sinclair has put out. He has been <laughs> the visionaire, he's been at the forefront. Claude, you know how I feel. Thank you. Thank you. you don't have to get so <laughs> emotional. We understand the situation. <laughs> well, this is a check for $150,000 on the behalf of Bounty Foundation to your father, Mr. Boyles. Yeah. And also, <laughs> and also, here is a $100,000 gift service ticket Fontana Pharmacy yeah. will get his medical care. He won't on to that. Thank you. Thank you so very much. And there's let, also some other stuff over there. Let me say, Bounty, you see, I train a lot. You can probably tell. I'm in the gym a lot. There yeah. is a song that I train to, and I keep it on repeat. It's Bounty Killer and Baby Sham. Ah, original. Another, yes, another, another level. level. <laughs> it's on repeat. So I listen Thanks. to that all the time when I'm training. Yeah. I thank you. I thank you very much. You're very welcome. And I just want to say to the Jamaican people and everyone around the world, there are a lot of things that I'm working on behind the scenes and working alongside so many people. The number one thing that I, I want to get across to people is that my dad, to you guys, he is Junior Biles, the reggae icon. To me, it's just dad. It's just <laughs> always been simple, right, dad? It's yeah. just dad. But what I want you guys to know is that this video or these videos that surfaced, these are not my dad's reality. And also, I thank you so much on behalf of the Biles family for allowing these videos to go viral because what you have done is to set such a great precedence for us because one of the things that I'm working steadfast on is the Junior Balls Global Foundation and yeah. you will hear more about that as it comes out. And that foundation is gonna lend itself to mental illness. There's also going to be a website for my dad You'll hear more about that as it's come out. There are three platforms that are out there, and I encourage all of you to go by, view it, leave your comments. There's the GoFundMe account, Reggae Superstar Junior Biles. Reggae now, Superstar Junior, Junior Biles. Biles. Now, there's also a Facebook page. There's been a lot of critiques on that page, wondering who's behind that. And I'm here to tell you, the Facebook page I've created for my dad. Right now, it is at 5,000 fans, which is the maximum that he can go. The amount of incredible support that you guys have given to my dad 
It's unbelievable. There is also Instagram, just Junior Biles. There's also, there is a website that's coming that's going to be juniorbiles.com. But again, the ultimate goal is to get my dad well and also to restore his integrity. What we plan on doing is any proceeds we are going to give back to the community. Where my dad went to school, um, we're going to give back to children as well. But these things are all coming and I'm just so forever, I'm so forever grateful. Bounty, thank you so much. We are so touched by your statement there. And we're just glad that you are there for your dad. You're a great yes. daughter, yo. <laughs> so intelligent and so inspirational. The concert that Tunu kept for him, mm -hmm. we want to bring back that concert also. Mm -hmm. Okay? Because that's a way we can reach a wider section of society. Mm -hmm. Junior Biles' birthday is February 2nd. He turned 72. Oh, his birthday was on the 2nd. Yes, Black History Month and Reggae Month. Whoa, the great reggae artist. <laughs> 72 years old. Happy belated yes. birthday. And this is a little token. Thank you. Thank you. Dad, would You're you welcome, like to brother. say to your Facebook fans and Instagram fans, say thank you? Love the Lord God, Jerastafari, with all your heart and soul. Yeah. <laughs> it's very touching to know that these legendary pioneer will groom the face of the music. We would have just leave him to go like this. Jamaica, we have to show some more generosity. We're the one love that. We're, we're, we're all this... African spirit, where we be there, where we the apartheid massive there. Where we just make Babylon take away. So, Bounty Foundation is on the rise, and when my foot settles in the earth the right way, I will play my part properly. This is just my little baby step, them building up the foundation with foot. So, just pray for we and pray for Jamaica because we see a Lord great past you and nothing to reach you. So, give thanks to the Almighty who always said his blessing upon us. So. It was a great moment. As you said, this is just the face of what we want to do. And this is one little baby step. And we don't finish with junior bodies yet, because this cannot do much. This is just a little assistance. The concert, we have a link back with Babsy. If Babsy get in our venue, I will be available to perform. I can get a few other artists as well, as you know I have connection with the artists. So. Uno does get Babsy involved and get venue and we will get artists and we can support you. Because we now sit down and watch no legend fall like this boy and do put out a hand. That now happen while we are alive. And we are going to set the precedence for the youth that will come and learn. The younger artists them need to learn these things. You know, have to show unity and togetherness to one another. So this is how we are artists go down. Me an artist, I walk away and I want artists step on the roadside. We don't believe that artists no work, so artists can't live so. I'm me as a junior like you, as you said. I am because he are. Yeah. Yeah. Alright? So, we need to stand up and show the youth them that togetherness that we grew up in, in the 70s and the 80s. We called 90s and 2000s people as some millennial, yeah. criminal and wicked. You understand? We yeah. have no love and yeah. unity. Yeah. I live to see people in a music industry don't love music today because yeah. our money pull up and scream and fire what people love. Yeah. And oh, you're going to live in our house and you don't love it. I live into music. I love music. And I love the things that music bring, but it's because of music why I love all of these things. I don't love them more than music. And people love other things in the game today. They don't even love the music. That's why when you see them, I love Junior and I love themselves. They're frightened. Because there ain't much love. The eight in a Jamaica is extreme. See it going on in the families they know. And the enemies are kill enemies again in our families are kill families. And the son of friends are kill friends. This is brother and sister and husband and wife and father and son and daughter and mother. Oh, this is our little nice Jamaica, the island we love. No man, we have to come. We have to real and come again, Winford. 
togetherness, love and unity wanting in the country. That's why the crime rate is so wicked. Man didn't even care about them life. So, so, and state emergency room, this a man that killed six year old and six month old right next door. You think you don't know him so they took him no business enough for your life. If you don't love your life, where are you going to love anything around? We need to fix the mind state of the people. Eh? Absolutely. And it's not an uptown and a downtown and a ghetto. It's a Jamaica fool in the shop one. It's happening everywhere. You're out of town, in a town, country, and town. So, we have to come together and show the people in the right way. Help each other. And this is another problem. Social intervention needed. Spiritual intervention needed. As you said, the motivational speaking of the continue, you can't stop one place, man. Just domestic violence. I'm going to all aspect. Yeah, because yeah. yeah, they leave up the youths them and things that they have to find them way. It now to work like that. Everybody now to find their way out. And as I've been telling the government, it's not state of emergency, it's want a state of urgency. Yeah. That's, yeah. Yeah. That's what we need to do. State, state of urgency. You should take that urgency. State of urgency. Yes, for so I'm many reasons. It's only yeah. urgently moving towards crime. What's about urgently moving towards dividing up the youth them now? Helping the ones who don't want to be in crime. Yes. We all be who will talk be looking for the next guy and the next doctor and the next artist and the next cricketer and the next athlete. Nobody out there with no social intervention or no no look of program to help the youth. They don't even have community centre in the ghetto anymore. Much as a youth club. Much as a sport team. You understand? So, what we to yes, do you have to develop? It, it's crazy, man. You, 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 that's good, you can't get a loan. That's why them deal with them at scamming and nobody no one going to work again. So, Jamaica, state of urgency. So, we the money past state of emergency. Bring some other million and we could go start some social program and yes, you want things fixed. That's it. That's it. <laughs> Teach them! Hey yo, hello! Send the message and make it reach them. It's teach them right here. Warlord representing. Thank you for watching. Please leave a comment below. Remember to like and share the video. Don't forget to subscribe for more awesome content. Follow me on social media and check out the suggested videos on screen. This is Teach saying, until next time, walk good, my friends.